Saga Vaca. What the? Alright, I am blinded. Uh, for some reason, my flash is on, but oh well. The show must go on. Alright, I'm sorry about the noise you're going to hear, but I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can because I don't have a stand for my cell phone, alright? Yeah, okay, so if any, for any reason, go ahead and make those jokes about the quality. If there is any quality problems, I don't care. Anyway, so you know me, right? Of course you know me, right? You know? So anyway, I... This is the premiere episode of a new series I like to call Mikey's Reviews and Stuff. So, uh, today, I've got a lot to talk about here. Well, i got a lot to talk about for other stuff. For, uh, stuff. Today. This episode. Sorry. I'm having trouble time speaking. I did not make any lying. I did not make any, uh, I didn't write the words I wanted to say here. I don't ever do that with my video. Basically because it's like I want to get the video done now. So, anyway. I'd like to start with... One of the many games that I think is kind of, you know, underrated, you know, it doesn't, it isn't very paid much attention, of, attention, little attention has been paid to it. Now, there are several videos of each of these things separate, but why not actually play them whenever you want, wherever you want? Well, I'm talking about pinball. This game is on both the Wii and Nintendo 3DS. I'm going to talk about the 3DS version. It's almost identical to the Wii version, but one of the tables has a slight difference on it. Pinball Hall of Fame, the Williams Collection. Now, the game is really awesome. The 3DS version, too, is awesome, too, because it kind of gives you the illusion you're actually playing the table. It... There are plenty of tables to play. It's like you've got a Pinbot, Whirlwind, Black Knight, Funhouse, Taxi. You know, all kinds of those Williams, Williams pinball games. Alright, next of all, the thing I've kind of somewhat, well, I've had it for a while, but I never got to share I wanted to, but... Sorry, I know I'm having trouble. My camera is like where I don't want it to be, and if I turn it the other way around, you're gonna see, you would see me upside down, and I don't have really any way to change to fix that. But anyway, for the Nintendo 3DS, you can find it at Walmart. Woo! If you notice, my 3DS is both black and blue. Oh, there you go, idea. So yeah, it's black and blue. This is a Nintendo 3DS power case. Awesome thing about it is this little notch up here that goes into the same place as the uh, charging dock for the 3DS. I'm sorry if my finger is like blocking some of your view, but oh well. I'm trying to try, just trying to get rid of that blinding light. Anyway, I think it might have burned a hole in my eye. No, I'm just kidding. I don't see any, don't see any black. Maybe see the shadow of the light, and it almost looks like a block person going like, "Yay!" with his leg up. Anyway, uh, oops. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Anyway, but anyway, this thing, there's a switch right here, and also it moves the 3DS's uh, charging plug. But oh, fine. Whoopsie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me get this one from here. Oh. You know, I'll just carry I'll just carry my phone now. So, um, the charging case, uh, yep, there's a, the charges here, and there's also the switch. Uh, you can see it. Right there. One for that stupid flash. But, uh, anyway, so, here's how it works. Um, Alright, so you're playing a game and you see your power light is red. No worries, just flip the switch on. See, look, no plugs. No plugs, but it's charging. 
but my 3DS is charging. Anyway, it's charging. Yes, I know the gr the quality is gone, but that was only because um because yeah, the quality kind of goes away for a couple times. But overall, that's only because covering the light causes it to look like this and all fuzzy and all that. I'm sorry, I really cannot help it. I don't know why it is, and I've already gotten this far. It isn't going to be a problem now. But yeah, it would charge it this way. Let's look, switch off. Now, sometimes this thing startles me because there's a light right here. No, it's not the replacement for the light up here. That's only a light to tell you the status of the charging cradle. I mean the power case. Yep, it even came with the stylus, but I lost it thanks to my frickin' cousin. Anyway. It's actually nice because uh, the uh, black parts are nice and soft and, you know... So basically, it also in the manual that comes with this thing, it says that it's that it was that that was designed for a better grip. Yeah, this and uh, I can t the reason why I can tell Pinball Hall of Fame the Williams collection doesn't get very much attention is because it was sold in very few stores. I only saw it at Game Game in GameStop. And Kmart. That was it. This copy came from GameStop. Alright, last but not least. So, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot. My reviews. I love this game. I think you should really get it, actually. I, I, it's a really good game. I was like, who doesn't? Oh, well, okay. But actually, yeah, it's really, it's a really good game. Um, 3D10. It's... And I hate, and I love how stupid people are. Because it's rated E10 because of animated blood and suggestive themes. <laughs> so, seriously? This is pinball. It's supposed to be family friendly. What? Oh well. I would expect, you would probably expect this to be E. That is the only complaint I have about that. And it's really nothing big. Because really... It's just a rating, serious? I mean, come on, it's just a rating, really? <sighs> anyway, now the power case, very useful, but my only thing is, is that unlike certain things, is that it cannot, is that it won't, is that you cannot, when it's like the battery's low, it's not really a good idea to charge your through both your 3DS and the power case. So it's really a good so it's really a good idea that you shut off your 3DS for a while and don't play with it and let the power case charge up. Then turn then like charge up your 3DS because it will kind of slow because this thing drains faster than a 3DS or a DSi. Pretty much because basically here's the glitch that happens. I said okay, okay, so I'm charging it up. I'm charging the I'm charging the power case and the system. Yep, you can see the, the, the thingy there. Anyway, when you're doing that, after a little while, you will start to notice that your screen is flickering. You know, it's like it's, like it's dimming and then getting brighter, like, like you're repeatedly unplug unplugging the charger. So that's uh, pretty sad. But I actually like it because, especially, I mean, it's like, mostly I would, for using this, I would pick the, the, the black because, you know, it's like, this shows up and this in here shows up. These are, you can see the small bits of black there, which actually kind of looks good with the blue. Uh, and I'm kind of jealous of my, of some people who have the Thread 3DS, so, yeah. So that's part of my stuff. Now, last but not least, yes, if you're still here, good. Because we got a little treat for you. Well, it's not much of a good treat, but anyway, I've got a couple extra things. Well, bam! This is one of those older clocks. The spinning thing down here, believe it or not, is a pendulum. 
and yep, it has a second egg. Cool. It's one. Uh, it takes one. One double A. And uh, here's something pretty cool about these things. You cannot buy these things in stores. It's like you have to find them at like your grandparents' house or something, or anything. But or even go to like some kind of gathering that has a, has, has several shops. Cause I got this thing just yesterday, and uh, <clears throat> it, I, we were at a tractor show, and there was a shop. And of course, you know I'm clock, I'm a clock fan. There's clock there, there's clock back there, there's a clock over here. This is a clock, and yes, I might talk about that. Uh, oh, there's a clock. There's a clock, there's a clock, there's a clock, there's a clock, you know, my 3DS is a clock, and yes, I dropped it, so yeah, and there's a clock, there's a clock, there's two clocks over here, so there are quite a few clocks, but really, this one's one of the one I wanted to talk about, now this thing, this one gives a, an, it gives an occasional click, But there's a machine in the back. Yes, the yes, the plastic is removable. There's a mach There's a little stick down here. I don't think you'll be able to spot it, but up oh, there it is. See that moving thing down there? When that thing gets far enough, it turns back and makes that click noise. Just listen. It'll be a while, but it moves exactly when the second hand moves. There it is. All right, but that is uh, the coolest. That's that's the thing. Basically, when I woke up, it was up on that little shelf up there, and it was clicking like crazy. So I was like, oh, but I don't care. You cannot get these anywhere else, and I don't know if that. But I think there's a, there's also a spring up above the pendulum that is also with that little device is pulling on which also which apparently has a magnet on it which is what makes these little bottles rotate and yes it's coca-cola and yes I love the platform it's all on is like the bottle caps alright last but not least an old gla glass pla an old classic black cla gla glass Sprite bottle, but here's the best part. Unproducto, unproducto of day the Coca-Cola company. It's Mexican. <laughs> yeah, I can't read Mexican very well. Unproducto de the Coca-Cola company. Yeah, I can't read Mexican very well. I can't read Spanish very well. But uh, yeah, this is actually a cool bottle. I did, I, just today I drank all the Sprite out of it, but I'm preserving the bottle. Uh, so. <coughs> but, uh, yep, that's all we had planned for today, I think, oh wait, never mind. As you can see here, this, my friends, is a cassette player out of reverse it still works too uh, right in, he in here I have Victor Borga you know that guy who makes all the jokes and plays piano but yeah you see this there's this little switch here that changes that also can switch between sides because some tapes have two sides this Victor Borga one does have two sides. If you open this up and you slide this out of these little uh, sticks here, there it's the, the tape is called the two sides of Victor Borga. And yes, I have my audio in on here, so yeah, as you can get a little preview. Just gotta press this big button here. Now you hold it like this, and then 
Okay, so this is rewind the middle button back here. This is fast forward, and this is stop. Let's watch the direction. You can swap direction at any point in time. As this one has its two sides, but just like early in the beginning, you'll find uh, you'll find that uh, it's it's got a, it's pretty much the end. So it'll eventually the switch will eventually flip back down. So basically, it's like if you go if you like sleep during the night, it was this side starting. It's over in the forward side one direction. As long as you put side one out here, out towards here, and this this will show the correct things. But you can't put side two on front and be inverted. But oh well. So uh, that's all for today. Tune in next time in the shorter episode of Mikey's Reviews and Stuff. Mikey is out.